Rocket man Scott Kelly finally back on Earth this morning after spending nearly a year in space. The astronaut logging almost 144 million miles, sharing thousands of photos on Twitter along the way. ABC's David Curley has the latest on Kelly's epic journey. Overnight, the descent rate of 80 meters per second. The Russian Soyuz capsule touches down. Scott Kelly back on Mother Earth. American record holder Commander Scott Kelly is lifted out of the capsule by the straps on the back of his suit because of all that time in space as he's carried to a chair pumping his fist two thumbs up and a peace sign he reportedly asked why everyone is bundled up saying the air feels good the first time he's felt earth's air for 340 days by the numbers nearly 5500 orbits with two sunrises and two sunsets each time almost 144 million miles equal to the moon and back 300 times one of the purposes of this mission measuring the effects of space on the body there are the things you can't see like bone loss uh, and then the effects of radiation on you at a, a, a genetic level. That's right, he's a lab rat. While in space, muscles shrink. Eyesight can get worse because of pressure changes and the spine stretches, making you up to 3% taller. How will they measure all that? By testing his twin, of course, former astronaut Mark. So a battery of medical tests ahead and now memories and pictures. The astronaut who tweeted, my last sunrise, and follow me as I rediscover Earth. Definitely a very successful landing today. Is on his way home, Houston. David Curley, ABC News, Washington. Welcome home. Welcome Great home. Pictures. Who needs Pilates? Go to space. <laughs> what did he say about getting taller? Yeah, three. <laughs> <laughs>